In the initial release of Adagio Order Entry 9.2a from July 2015, a number of common features such as the Adagio toolbar, grid banding, and the updated report engine were introduced. This service pack includes many new features with a focus on the credit note processing area. If you accept a payment with an invoice, and later on some portion of that invoice is to be credited, returning the payment had to be done separately in a receivables cash entry, unnecessarily duplicating work in another place. Now, credit notes can have payments attached to them in the same way as invoices, to perform the payment return at the same time as the credit note. Whether you create a new credit note from scratch, or enter it against an invoice, the credit note process now has the payment button active. In order to reverse a payment, you must click this button and enter a unique check number for the credit note, or auto-generate a value that will equal the credit note document number. The payment amount is calculated from the credited details. Other values can be edited prior to posting, including the early payment discount and payment method. Save the payment reversal, and on the total tab, the refund amounts and remaining credit amount at the bottom are displayed. Click OK to post the credit note as usual, and OK again to confirm posting. And when printing the form, the refund information can be included. Day and Processing will create batch entries for Adagio receivables for the credit note and refund. Regardless of whether order entry is configured to create direct or retrieve batches, the credit note will be created as an invoice batch entry and the refund will be created as a cash batch entry. And at the end of the credit note audit list is a payment method summary section for refunds, similar to what prints for the invoice audit list report and payments. In previous versions, crediting an item but not returning it to stock meant you always had to remember to unselect the return option on the detail, which can be cumbersome if the majority of credit notes did not require this setting. Now you can set in the company profile on the Processing Options tab a default value for credit notes to return inventory for newly created credit notes, whether or not they are entered against an invoice. This setting is for every user in the company, and if you wish to have different defaults by user, this option may also be set on security groups and in the entry template. In previous versions of order entry, if a credit note was entered against an invoice that had not yet been processed by day end, and thus true costs not yet assigned from inventory items, there was a possibility that the net cost result for both transactions would be something other than zero, depending on timing. Now, if you attempt to create a credit note for an uncosted invoice, a warning message will appear, indicating that this is the case. And when opening the Details tab and editing any item, the unit and extended costs for the credit note will have been read from the invoice and not be editable. This will guarantee that after the credit note is posted and both transactions are processed by day end, the net costing value will be zero for both GL accounts and inventory items. The options in the company profile have been reorganized so that settings that affect particular processes are grouped together. Four tabs have been changed. The System Options tab now has the settings related to integration to Adagio Ledger, General Options related to Data Integrity Check and Day End Processing, Display Options for the Transaction Grids and Credit Check, and the Optional Field Titles. A new Processing Options tab contains the settings that directly affect document entry, with the grouping at the top for those options that affect transactions as a whole, and the grouping at the bottom 
for those options that specifically affect transaction details. The Spec Options tab has all the settings that affect form printing, with various options at the top and all the default spec forms and attachment folders at the bottom. Spec options specific to Adagio ePrint for archive customer PDF copy and keep accounting copy are now located here. And the Reports tab now has the particular options that only affect the management reports, namely the data tracking settings for certain transaction reports and the aging days for the aged orders report. In addition, to ePrint settings if that program is installed. If you require a more formal require merchandise authorization before issuing a credit note to a customer invoice, a new Adagio RMA add-on program is available for creating and maintaining RMA documents. When the add-on is installed, it is automatically integrated to order entry without further option enabling necessary. The Enter Orders screen has a new RMA tab, where transactions with a new RMA document type are listed. Creating a new RMA may be done completely from scratch or based upon an existing invoice which will load document information and details into the RMA. If desired, enter the expected return date, which can propagate to all item details, and a reason code to indicate the purpose of the RMA for reporting. On the Details tab, items or other detail types may be added or edited or deleted, and for each item, an RMA quantity that will be returned is entered and the quantity of items already returned, if applicable. If returned items are selected to be added back into inventory stock with the Return to IC setting, the quantity on RMA will be stored by location until such time that the items are received and the credit note is posted. When you post an RMA with an item returned or a miscellaneous charge, this allows creating a credit note document at the same time. Items with no more expected quantity to return are marked as completed. Posted RMAs can be printed, emailed, or faxed to customers, just like other documents. And PDF copies may be saved in order to view from the RMA grid. For a more comprehensive presentation about the Adagio RMA add-on, follow this link to the video on introducing Adagio RMA.